Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have my client Lauren where I'm taking back from this beautiful balayage to a dark rich brown color. And I've had numerous requests of going back brown from a blonde color so I thought I would uh, do a video on this for you. I know it's been a while but I have many things going on. But first I'm going to get into the formula. I am using Redken Shades Cream in the level 4 neutral. I want her base to be pretty dark. Well, she wants her base to be pretty dark. I'm definitely going to add towels for protection because, you know, you don't want to get anything on the clothes. Here is her balayage now. We actually just refreshed it a couple of months ago. She's had it for about a year and it looks really great on her. She's one of those people who can be dark or light and just looks amazing. I begin by first applying the formula to the base of the hair, dragging it down just a few inches until it reaches the where the highlight begins. On the underneath I do drag it down just a little bit more because I obviously want it to be a little bit darker in the back. Now these sections don't need to be completely perfect because the way I am doing this color there, all the hair is going to have color on it so I'm not trying to leave any of the blonde out so it is okay if these little pieces of hair get stuck in there and a little tip when doing a stretched root like this I always find it easier to section sideways and in, instead of um, horizontally because it just lays down easier instead of it being all piled on top of each other. I don't know, you can figure out why it's easier for you by trying it, but I just find it to be that way. And along the face, I'm not actually going to be dragging that down as far because I do want to keep that a little lighter up further uh, towards the face. Just like as if we were doing a regular balayage. We're just basically doing almost a reverse balayage right now. So our goal is to have her look like she has a natural level 4 base, which she has a natural level 6 right now, but it's going to be a level 4 base with a balayage look to it. So now we're on our way over to mix up the low light formula, which is basically the goal is actually to be at the same level. Um, but since she is very porous and pretty highlighted, we don't want it. We can't just put straight 4N through the ends of her hair because that can be a disaster. It can be drabby, it can take darker, so we have to be careful and mix accordingly. So I basically, well not basically, I did, I mixed up the 4N but I added 5NW to that. We have to replace some of that missing pigment before we bring it through to the ends of the hair. Now granted she's not like a really high level of blonde, she's only a couple levels lighter than her natural. But you still need to replace some of that so by adding the gold that'll help with the drabbiness and it'll keep it from the level five will keep it from grabbing too dark um, we don't want to have a three and a half at the ends and a four on the root that would just look really weird because naturally hair this long any hair should not be the same level from root to end because that looks very unnatural um, naturally hair will be a little bit lighter on the ends as opposed to the new growth because that's just what hair does because of the environment so you want to make sure that you mix your formula to mimic the natural um, the natural stages of the hair for lack of a better description I don't know I can't think of <laughs> exact way to but I'm sure you get the idea now, right now I'm weaving out chunks because I don't want all of it to be one color. I would only want um, low lights through it and then the, what I'm leaving out will be toned differently. So to make it easy, I am pre-sectioning it all out, which means taking different sections, doing a chunk weave, taking some of that ha the other half of the weave and you see that I'll stick it underneath the foil that's right there because that's going to be left out of the way and toned to a different color and then the hair that I don't tuck under the foil is going to be the 4N5NW mixture. So I know I haven't put a lot of videos out and it's probably going to stay that way. I'm going to put videos out as often as I can. Um, I've actually had this one 
set in my um, app to voiceover for about three weeks and have not had time to do it or the quietness. I need quietness. Um, I've had a lot of things going on, like I said in my last videos, but um, I am only in the salon about two days a week, not taking on new clients, and most of those clients are just the same same thing they always do. So when somebody comes in wanting something different, I will always try to film it. I do have one other one I, I filmed also. Um, who knows when I'll get that out, but I'll get it out as soon as I can, so I appreciate you guys bearing with me. But since I'm in the salon only two days a week, that doesn't give me a lot of time to film videos and I am also still building my photography business and it's gotten busy this year because I am focusing on seniors and that's been busy and it's been going well and I actually did start a YouTube channel for that also because apparently that's what I like to do and it is CJ Bradley Photography. There is a space between the C and the J so you're welcome to go follow me there. Um, I only have a couple videos up right now but I will hopefully have soon have more there. Um, I know people love watching the behind the scenes. I love watching behind the scenes and so I will be um, adding videos there also. So if you want to see me in other places besides here, I don't know why you would, but <laughs> you're welcome to go over there and um, hit the subscribe button and follow me and support that channel and I appreciate it very much. Now we are going to mix up our final formula, which is all the hair that I left out, clearly. So you'll see that I used 4NB, 7NB because I kind of wanted like a 6NB, 6.5 um, and didn't have it. So you just do what you do. And then I added the copper brown, the 5 copper brown. I just did like, I think maybe not even quite an eighth of the formula um, as a little bit of the 5CB because I added that there. I did want to have that rich caramel look. And that is how, that's kind of the secret to caramel formulas, is adding just a touch of that uh, copper because it, it just adds that shine and that richness. So if um, you look at pictures of rich brunettes and wonder how they get that look, um, it's not only the gold is not going to be the only thing that's able to do that, adding a splash. And I'm talking like a splash. You're not trying to get it to be a copper tone. You just need a little bit of the richer tone that the copper provides. Even different tones. I could even go through here and just do a different tone with the same level and you'll notice a contrast. But I, that's kind of what she showed me, but I didn't really want to do that because I just knew she would kind of freak out. <laughs> but here is the end result. She absolutely loved it. It looks so natural. I couldn't believe how natural it looked. Like she just looks amazing with the 4N in her hair with these dark colors. It looks so good. It looks like she's been in Jamaica for a few weeks and that was basically our goal. Um, and I use the Demi because I don't want to have a solid line regrowth. You have to understand that this girl's 16 years old. She doesn't need to be in the salon every four weeks, which is why we chose a Demi color rather than a permanent color. When I'm only depositing, I'm only using Demi with the exception of a gray coverage. But thank you for coming to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you are even old here, please make sure you are subscribing and liking this video because that keeps my algorithm up, which allows me to keep putting these videos out. So thank you in advance. Have a great day. Bye.